Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's another day of vlog and honestly, I, I have no idea what to vlog. I don't know what to do. Why? Because I can't go out. Uh, today, there was about 3,000 cases of COVID in Malaysia. Everyone is freaking out and I can't go out because... Ta -da -da -da! Yep. I injured my knee from a martial arts training. What happened was that my instructor tried to show me how to do a certain knee kick because I stood too near him and because uh, I also had my old injury. He accidentally kicked my kneecap and that was a lateral patella dislocation. What is a lateral patella dislocation? Imagine this is your kneecap and my kneecap went here. It went up and came back down so uh, I had a bit of a inflammation and it's swollen and I can't bend my knee more than 60 degrees now. Sorry, not even more than 40 degrees. Just that. That's it. I can't bend it. So when I go to the toilet, literally I had to do this. Like, this is the toilet bowl. <laughs> Honestly, because it's the beginning of the year, I was feeling pretty sorry for myself. I was texting my friend, I was like, I feel so shit about myself. I felt like I'm so ready to take on this year. I'm so ready to start this year with a bang. But it went... Pfft. That's what I felt like for 2021. And I feel a bit down-ish until I saw a video today that my friend shared to me. This little girl, she's petite, she's tiny, she's small, she's so cute, but she's so filled with energy. She was like, things are only gonna be things until you make something out of it. So for an example, a chair. This chair can just be a normal chair, but I could say, this is my throne and I'm sitting on my beautiful throne and I feel so happy about it. That's life, right? We should make something out of it. And I should make something out of this lately. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna stay at home and try to do something. I should shut my butt up. Ha! Let's go shut my butt up. Six ways to keep your pet bird quiet. Speak quietly to your bird. I honestly don't think it works, but let's give it a try, okay? Hi bird. Oh. Hi. Please be quiet. Be quiet. Hello. You know when I told my mom about my knee, I was like, Mom, I can't walk, blah blah blah, because I can't bend my knee. You know what she said? Oh, I'm gonna give you something very useful. In my head, I was like, oh, medication, anti-inflammation pill, blah blah blah. Nope, she gave me this. Okay. I know what to do. Yes! I'm gonna bake almond nut butter. Let's Google. You know what? I'm actually allergic to peanut butter. I don't take nut butters a lot. But then, I noticed I am allergic to peanut butter, but I wasn't allergic to any other nuts but peanut. To be honest with you, just from walking to the kitchen and back, and to the kitchen and back, my knee kind of hurts. I had to cancel my jobs, I had to cancel my appointments because I can't go out and I can't walk properly, I can't shoot, I can't act. I'm handicapped and I'm stuck at home during COVID. Be positive, make something out of it. I'm gonna make something out of it. I'm on butter it is. Okay, three cups of raw almonds. Oh, I have to actually toast my almonds first. So first it says preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 176 Celsius. About 200 Celsius, no, about 180 Celsius. Okay. Actually, I'm not really sure how to preheat. You know guys, I don't know how to bake. So let's learn how to bake. Which one is preheat? Come on guys, all these looks the same. Which is preheat? I'll just go for this, okay? Because I'm not sure which one is preheat. And then 180. Okay. And that's it. There's no lights. Where are the lights? Aha! Uh -huh. Is it preheating? Okay. Yeah. Three cups. 
but I have extra so um, should I pour the extra in? I should right? Might as well just finish the entire package and add whatever I'm gonna roast my almond nuts for 10 minutes Is it preheated already? I don't think so right? It's not right because if it's preheated it will be like beep It would make some sound if it's preheated Beep I think so. I don't think it's ready yet. I'll just take my blender out. You know what I'm thinking? Honestly, the invention of an oven is pretty smart. It's brilliant. But you know these logos? Maybe you could make it even smarter by adding some words underneath. I have no idea what these are. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. It was like this for like 15 minutes, but it doesn't seem to be preheating. So I changed to this and it's still preheating. If you guys are a pro baker, of course you would know, right? But for newbies like us, add some English words on it maybe so I'll understand what is what. It doesn't seem to beep yet. There's no beep sound. There's no beep. It, I'm ready. No. Okay, I think it's preheated because uh, this thing turned off. There was no beep. No beep at all. Beep. Oh, it's so hot. Ouch. How long should I wait? Okay. okay. Toast the almonds for 10 minutes, stir it halfway. That means I have to wait for, I have to stir it at five minutes and then after that stir it again. <sighs> Since we have 10 minutes to spare, uh, I decided to just unbox some of my parcels. I have like a mountain of parcel waiting for me there. It's a gift from my boyfriend. I think I haven't seen him for a year now because of COVID, I can't travel. So uh, he gave me a present for uh, Christmas and my birthday because they are really close to each other. There you go. I'm gonna open it. I know what it is because he asked me whether I liked it and I was like, yeah, I liked it. But I haven't opened it yet. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. I'm very bad at unboxing. Oh my god, I have a story to tell. There was once my mom was unboxing my stuff for me. What I bought was like a rubber cover for like a dish kind of thing. So this is a dish. You put the dish in the fridge and you cover. You put a cover above it, a rubber cover. And she thought that was the packaging itself. She cut through the cover. And I was like, mom, I bought that. <laughs> it says, it's from Kenzo Takada. Fashion is like eating. You shouldn't stick to the same menu. But I like sticking to the same menu! Does it mean I don't have fashion? I like wearing the same clothes! I can wear the same thing for the entire year! <laughs> anyway, this is from my Teresa. Not sponsored, not anyway. I paid for. Text, everything paid for. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. But I don't think this is the right color. I chose black. This is not black. It's dark brown. Something might have gone wrong. Just try it on. Ooh. It's a surprisingly light bag. I actually wanted this bag for a long time, but I saw that a lot of people were using it and I kind of was like, why is everyone using it? Because everyone's using it, I don't feel like using it anymore. There is a flaw though on this bag. Look, check this out. There is a little flaw here. I don't think I can ask for a return. There's no scratches or whatsoever. I'm not sure if my Teresa sells like secondhand goods or what. I'm not very sure. But it's definitely when it was purchased, it was slightly lower than the usual price. I don't think this is the color I went for. I went for black, but this is dark brown. Anyway, this is my second Bottega Vinta bag. I've wanted it for a very long time. Oh! It's definitely not as big as I thought. The bag is big, but inside it's just like this. That's it. And because of the softness of the leather, I think I would definitely have to put... Ooh! Ooh! So that burn. I didn't know it burned so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> I burned my almond nut. Vanessa. Sorry, I had to ask her to help because I, I can't. Oh, hitam. Hitam? hitam? I have to take it out and put it in a different platter because this thing is so hot. I don't think it's entirely burnt. I think it's just more roasted than usual. Thank you, Pat. I'm 
gonna put it under the fan to wait for it to cool. It honestly does smell a bit burnt, but I don't wanna waste it. So it's gonna be roasted burnt nut butter. Lesson learned. When you make nut butters or you roast your nuts in the future, don't go and unbox the packaging and talk about it for so long. <sighs> anyway, since I'm waiting for that to cool down, this is not black. This is brown. But I'm not gonna return it. If I return it, the tax that I paid for it will be forfeited. So I'll just stick with this. But I'm actually pretty okay with it. Surprisingly light. It's calf leather and it scratches very easily. There you go. Do I seem like I am not as happy as you thought I was? Usually I think one thing about unboxing bags is that initially you are happy, you're like, Oh, I'm so excited because I haven't seen it yet! But then after you open it, it's like, Okay, it's a bag. Okay. I got it wrong! I just went back to my account on my Teresa and I realized that I actually bought fondant. I chose it in dark brown and it arrived in dark brown, which is fondant. But I like the color, so it's okay. And I'm sorry guys, it's not calf leather, it's lamb leather. Hey! I bought the wrong one. There you go. This is how the bag looks on me. Honestly, I think... Hmm... It looks a bit... A teeny bit underwhelming. Is it because of the weight? I don't know. Or the color? I'm obviously definitely not gonna go for the lighter colors. I, I like it in this color. Actually, I haven't seen people in this brown color before, so it's quite okay. Oh, one more thing that I realized about the bag is that the bag doesn't stand. It's strange why I gone through all the reviews online, but I've never seen this mentioned before. Check this out. It doesn't stand. I'm kind of disappointed actually. Anyway. Well, I can't believe it guys. Uh, what a day. I tried to make almond nut butter. I burnt my nuts. I unboxed a bag and it's the wrong color. But it's okay. The thing is only gonna be something if I make something out of it. And uh, this is the first time I burnt a nut while roasting it. This is interesting. I'm not sure if you could hear it. I could hear the nuts popping actually. I think because it's cooling down. Can you hear that? Can you hear the popping sound? I never knew that nuts would actually crackle. I think it's because they're breaking apart because it's cooling down. It's so ASMR-ish. It actually tastes okay. This one. Uh, because we couldn't find the blade for this, we're gonna use this. <laughs> My maid found it. Thank you, Kat. Oh my god, this is taking... This is so difficult. Uh, we realized that the machine is not working. Ah! This shows that I'm obviously a very horrible housewife. After this, no one's gonna marry me anymore. Ah! What is this? My day cannot go wrong anymore. Ah! Oh my god, this is so fast. This was barely minutes and it's actually already turned gooey. And when I went online, they said that I actually had to do it for 15 minutes. This is just pure seconds. This is fast. I'm gonna add some salt and vanilla extract. <laughs> vanilla extract and salt. How much? I got that. One tablespoon. One teaspoon. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. More salt? I don't know. I just guessed. I'm gonna add more salt. I'm gonna add some honey for flavor. Okay, stop. Is it supposed to be like that? It's supposed to be watery, right? Am I supposed to wait a bit longer? Am I? It tastes okay. It may not be the best nut butter ever, but it tastes okay. I'm eating it. It's okay. Yeah, it is okay. It tastes good. Oh my god, it looks so bad. It doesn't look good, but I'm sure it tastes good. Why? Because I tried it. It really tastes okay. 
I think I'm supposed to blend it a little longer, but I don't think I have the patience for that. Mommy? Yes. Try my nut butter. Your big nut butter? No, almond nut butter. Mmm. Are you really? It's very, very, very thick, no? It's salty, I like it. Salty. You like it salty? Mmm, tastes good. Not bad. I didn't add oil in it. Ah, I have to drink water now. Yeah, I know. It's very, very thick. But it tastes okay, right? It's good. I love my daughter know how to make something that tastes good. Boy, one thing about living with your parents is that they are very supportive of whatever food you make. Oh. It works. Okay. I just didn't know how to use it. There you go. That's my day. Well, I learned how to make almond nut butter. I realized that almond nuts pop after they come out of the oven. And um, I learned how to properly use a blender, my mom's blender. I guess that's it. I got to spend about two hours doing, learning something new, actually making fun of myself. My knee kind of hurt now because I've been walking around a lot. Well, at least I made something out of nothing today. <sighs> Anyway, the whole point of today's video is just to remind everyone and to remind myself that sometimes we overlook, we always want to try to achieve something. Like for the past few days, even me too, I was always trying to reach for something, achieve something, get something done, goals. That we forget all the little mundane things in life and actually enjoy the things we do. One of the reasons why I like doing vlogs is that because I have to take care of the camera, I have to take care of what I say, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to think about a lot of things. I actually focus on the things I do more than think about work or think about what I need to do, what I need to achieve, what I need to get done, what email do I have to reply tomorrow. Vlogging actually makes me enjoy the things I do. Vlogging actually allows me to be present more. I don't think I would even think that not being able to use a blender is funny. I don't focus on the negative. I just focus on just getting it done. And it also taught me how to learn how to enjoy and be in the moment. If not, making almond nut butter is just making almond nut butter, right? I know. It looks like um, but it's damn freaking good, okay? Well, my dad said it was good. My mom said it was not bad. Let's try it with my dog. Of course my dog is gonna say it's good. Yeah. There you go. Here, here, here. This is it. it. <laughs> this is so therapeutic. Is it nice? That was so good, right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, there you go. That's my vlog for today. If you like contents like this, do give it a thumbs up or smash the subscribe button if you want to find out what's happening next. If not, go down to the comments below, talk to me. I would love to hear from you. And um, that's it for today. I see you next week.